Ginger Belly here in Edinburgh with Frisky and Manish, just after coming out of a superb gig. <laughs> so we say we catch a couple of minutes with them and see what inspires them. You went from seeing opera to Britney Spears to absolutely everything within a couple of minutes. What kind of music inspires you guys? Before we went on stage tonight, without a word of a lie, we had uh, the Spice Girls' first album playing in the dressing room. <laughs> I mean, I love it. you own it. Sense. I don't own it, but I was. It was in front of my boyfriend's uh, copy, but that's irrelevant. Uh, you know, I mean, there's such classics on there like "Love Thing" and yeah. "Naked," such uh, undervalued album tracks by the Spice Girls. I do love, I do love a good pop album track. You know, like the Girls Aloud album tracks. Yeah. Those, uh, they rock my world. I love them so much. Brilliant. What was the funniest ever audience um, experience you ever had? Gosh, everyone is, is a funny experience because in this show we get the audience up on stage and it's the first time that we've actually got this really lengthy bit of uh, participation. Essentially we make stars out of five of the people. I won't yes. give, it too, give it away too much, but we make stars of some of the people in the audience. And it's amazing what they come out with that you would be so, you know, we, we spend ages writing our show <laughs> and trying to make it really funny. And then one person comes on stage and just says one line and everyone, you know, just... It's amazing. It, they're always funnier than we are. <laughs> we, had, we had one guy dressed as Elvis. We had an 11 year old boy who um, stole the show. Absolutely stole the show. And unfortunately, we get the, the audience to suggest possible boy band names for them. And uh, there were some really crude ones. And we I'm were looking just, at him like. Just not sure it was okay. But his parents seemed very His parents were like, go, 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 go. But uh, yeah, that was quite a special moment. <laughs> Is there any particular gig that has stood out in your mind, your favourite gig? Today. Do you know what? Honestly, one of my favourites, I think, was actually in Dublin at Trinity Uni, where, <laughs> honest stuff. to God, there was like wall to wall screaming for the entire it was weird. hour. They were drunk. I don't know, in Ireland, do you drink? I don't like, know if you're in, into the drinking. Yeah. <laughs> They'd had a few drinks. <laughs> it was amazing. It was phenomenal. The noise that these guys were making was like, I, I swear we were deafened by the end of it. And like, so many things went wrong. Like, we had like loads of tech issues and Shoddy. stuff. But it was the most fun. Possibly had because the entire audience was going. Ah. Yeah, we were like, oh, calm so down, brilliant. Jesus. Yeah, the yeah. best, the best ever. Any plans to return back to Dublin? Soon? Oh hell yeah! Hell yeah! It's actually our next thing. Well, the next thing we're doing is um, uh, from the 14th to 24th, we'll be at the Absolute Fringe. I think it's sponsored by Absolute, yeah, in Dublin. Um, we're going to be at the Festival Club every night. Um, eight o'clock. Yeah, eight o'clock. And uh, we're very much looking forward to this show. It'll be the first place this show goes away from Edinburgh, so it's the second. It's almost like the first bit of the tour. So yeah, very absolutely. privileged. Yeah, Dublin. Very honoured. Brilliant. Looking forward to it, guys. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.